Hello Sagittarius, how are you? And welcome to your February 2022 mini general reading. So Sagittarius, it starts off with a huge bang with the new moon which is in your third house. And this is a great time to be set intentions when it's concerning, you know, doing like a, creating like a new like job for yourself through media, writing, speaking. This is also to do with your siblings, your neighborhood as well. Some of you may decide that you want to move neighborhood or do like some short distance traveling. And we also have a full moon, which is in leo which is in your ninth house which is actually your house so this is going to be a time where we'll be releasing some old old beliefs and bringing in some new ones some of you may decide to you know relearn like a new course or there's something that you've learned you no longer want to do you want to change something else you're going to be in your domain this is like you know your actual house some of you may even decide to, you know, do some spiritual work as well, some some healing or even seeking out people from different places. This is about far away. We also have the Mercury retrograde in your third house and Mercury is ruled by the third house. So you may have been greatly impacted. There may have been some issues, whether it's concerning a computer you know, backing up your systems as well, whether it's even your car, maybe some disagreements with your neighbours or your siblings. These can now be sort of like rectified. We end the end the month with the sun in Pisces in your fourth house. So it's a bit of a dreamy time. So you and Pisces get on very well, but you may feel quite drained because you may you have to tend more to the family you know with your your parents especially your mum this is about self-care this is also about slowing down and you know some of you could you know even though the energy may not be there you guys may still find something to do within the home whether it's sprucing it up decorating it do something really creative as well when we come to your card story for february the first week you have the it, it starts off quite fiery it tends to be it feels like there's some drama there's some arguments and there's some conflict then you have the first card is the five of you know the five of what five of swords and this is a very fiery time there could be a lot of back and forth but it's also can be, it feels very combative in the first week I feel that you guys are feeling quite bored of the status quo. You want things to move quickly. You want things now. I feel some of you could be clashing a lot with bosses, higher ups, could be clashing with, you know, people that you love as well. And it does feel that because people are not moving as fast as you. And it feels like a lot of you are not really, some of you are not backing down in an argument as well. If some of you are accused of anything, you are going to be fighting that corner. You know, I feel that some of you are not going to be afraid to bait anyone up, as in tell them about their weaknesses, you know, which actually makes it worse. And some of you are just, you know, that's on one hand, but some of you are just very, you want, you just want to move forward. You want, so you don't mind causing an argument. You know, some of you Sagittarius can be very preachy, so that's one of the reasons why there's some conflict because you you guys could be trying to help someone and they may not want to hear what you have to say. So they may accuse you of just being like a know-it-all which causes an argument. So it feels very fiery and it feels like things may not die down anytime soon during the first week, you know. So it's about keeping your wits about you because, you know, you can just run into like drama you know anywhere you turn when we come to the second week you have the hierophant and the hierophant is uh about you know it's, it's quite a spiritual card 
you've actually come out from the Hierophant year actually. So the Hierophant card is about teachings, you know, as you can see as a Pope, it's about <laughs> preaching like the right way, but also it's about being, it's, it's, it's very traditional as well. So some of you may be a bit more quiet during the first, second week because things are, you know, you're in a different headspace, you know, you are one of those signs, you're mutable, like, I think, I feel like you and Pisces are very good at moving away from things, not necessarily forgetting it, but, you know, you know when to go there, and you know when to, you know, do what you need to do, so I feel a lot of you are sort of, like, getting down to basics during the second week, you got, there's a lot of stuff that you guys have planned, and you're going to get to it, you may go back to basics in a different way, not in a more or less traditional way, it's just in a different way. But you're going to be working very hard and you may surround yourself with people that are as hardworking as you or if not more hardworking. I feel a lot of you are going to be learning a lot as well. This, this could be you guys reading like big thick books about the past some of you could even decide that you actually want to go to, you, some of you could be like to and fro if you want to like go back to college or, you know, relearning, reteaching as well. That sort of comes up. Thing that you used to do when you were, thing that you used to do that you actually enjoyed that really interested you. So there's a lot of learn, there's a lot of like sort of more, sort, sort of like going within, but you're about learning as well and surrounding yourself with knowledge when we come to the third week you have the sorry when we come to the third week you have the page of swords and it feels like this month is actually going for some reason it feels like it's going very fast for a lot of you but you know the saying is you know how the month comes out it's sort of how it ends but it just feels like it's very fast. So, you know, you have the Page of Swords, which is about, you know, risk on a... It's about risking things, on a, especially on a mental level, because swords are about mental. But because it's reversed, some of you... You know, the thing that you actually... The thing that you're getting together, but things, you know, there needs to be more planning as well. Like you know, with some of you, you know Sagittarius, some of you have a lot of aims and dreams because you you know you're ruled by the arrow. But sometimes these dreams don't really materialize because there's no plan. So even the second week there is a plan, but the third week it's like some of you may feel bored, or some of you may try to go like a different direction. So it feels quite aimless during the third week like you could be just doing lots of things and then it just feels aimless and you know let's not forget you know you are in the third house this month the third house is mercury month it's very mind it's very starting things and it's very communicating it's very you know arguments but it's also very you know doing things and not really finishing them so the third week may come to that point where you know you might have a bit of trouble getting everything that you need together, even though the second week looked very promising. And it may be because, you know, you, you're looking back and thinking, oh, even though I did all this and I did all that, I'm not really sure at the moment because it seems like it's going to be a lot of work I'm going to have to put in. You know, so it's actually really great if you, you know, the people that you're surrounding yourself with, especially if they're quite grounded they can actually help you, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help, Sagittarius, because, you know, a couple heads are better than one, because this could be about pride as well, when we come to your third, your last week, and the sun easing into Pisces, we have the three of pentacles, this is a card I haven't seen in a while, and this is about craftsmanship, this is about putting the work in, building to get a result, and it is reversed, so it's just about you, you know, I feel that in the fourth week, especially coming from the third week, you still, ha I feel that you have to put a lot of effort into, like, your dreams, your goals, you have to put a lot of effort into your, you know, your physical, physical state, i.e. your vitality and your energy, 
you know, there's certain there's so many things that you've decided to do, especially from the second week, and now the last week going into Pisces, you may it may just be dreamed away. Look at all what you it's also saying, you know, look at all what you have or what you want to do and just pick one. Try not to do it all. You know, because sometimes when you do it all, nothing gets done. You know, it's this is you know, this is about, you know, acquiring new skills as well. So I feel some of you may need to be around certain people who are definitely grounded because, you know, you'll get a lot done. Your confidence will be boosted as well, you know. And, you know, some of you may think, oh, if I ask them, they're going to take the credit. No, I don't think so. I feel that, you know, when people are around you, Sagittarius, they get very inspired. They come off your energy. And, you know, especially going from the first week, there was not a lot of, you know, there was so much crazy energy. And maybe it's because people didn't really understand you. But when we come to like, the last week of going into Pisces season, it's about that like, community, you know. So finding like your tribe in a way, people that are close to you as well. I feel that some of you lost dreams might go back to when you were very young as well. It could be when you were three. You know, this is a three of pentacles. And remember, we're in a three month. So there's going to be lots of um, images that are going to come up in your mind as well. It's just about getting it done and not getting bored as well. So it's very busy month for a lot of you Sagittarians. You know, it does end. I feel that personally it does end pretty well for a lot of you. It's just about having the right people around you and putting them into action and not getting bored. So Sagittarius that was your mini february 2022 reading if you like a full reading head over to the description below and also sagittarius check out empath butterflies tarot who does love and general readings for all the signs and also feel free to let me know how this month has gone for you as well and don't forget to like share and subscribe so thank you very much and i'll speak to you soon take care bye Thank you.